Thank you, Sam. It's a place where Somerset students, families and staff can receive mental health services and get connected to other resources in the community. The Thrive Center at Somerset ISD opens this week to the community after months of preparation. Our Tiffany Huertas has more on the services they will provide there and how students are also getting involved to help others. We've dealt with students not having support at home or them dealing with a lot more stuff at home that transfers over to the classroom. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought many challenges to not only students. I feel that we're all a little bit more on edge and um, our mental health has taken a, a hit. The new Thrive Health and Wellness Center at Zacharias Early College Leadership Academy is opening this week and provides support to students, teachers, and families. A safe place for people to come and talk to. The center will offer counseling and community education on health and well-being. Social workers and counselors will provide services in person or virtually. The center has different rooms. This is one of the rooms where students and families will wait before their sessions and here they will sign in and it helps track the amount of people getting help. We also do expressive arts. We do just different type of activities where in some cases children do have a hard time. Even adults have a hard time sometimes just articulating what's going on inside. The center will connect families to different community resources, including food, clothing, job connections, and financial assistance. There will also be Thrive Ambassadors. These are students like Samantha Tellez, who receive training on topics related to mental health. I'm very confident that it can help. Um, it's a place where you can de-stress, let go of your worries, um, whether you want advice or you just want an open ear. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.